Hey, hello everyone, Jay Barino here. Welcome back, it's Command & Conquer Generals. We're playing Zero Hour now. There was an opening cutscene, it was like, the war, you thought the war was over, but it's not over. There's some other GLA guy, and his name is hilariously Dr. Thrax. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, whatever. Let's get started. We start with the USA campaign, so we're playing backwards now. We're gonna end with the Chinese campaign. So here we go. There are, I guess, three different units or new units for each faction, as well as some different mechanics. We'll see what those are all about. I am going to continue playing on the middle difficulty. It went okay when we played on It was like, it was normal, hard, brutal. Now we'll just play on medium again. It's just the middle one. We'll just continue on that. Here we go. Although America's military had the fragmented Global Liberation Army on the run following the last conflict here, terrorist activity remains a clear and present danger. Heavily armed assailants continue their occupation of the Baikonur launch facility in Kazakhstan. The GLA has armed the missiles at Baikonur with newly designed chemical warheads. This arsenal is aimed towards Europe, and evacuations of urban centers have already begun. Previous attempt by the Chinese to retake the facility has failed. With Chinese troops battling local warlords to the east, the United States has been asked to undertake the Baikonur mission. Tensions are high. A failed counter-strike could significantly weaken America's influence and strategic interests in Europe. From Falcon Base Command Center, I'm James Seabury. There are those classic live-action movies that we know and love from all the other Command & Conquer games. Full-on campiness. The trees are floating because we've messed with the aspect ratio, so this is kind of silly. It's more silly looking than it would look otherwise. This is 1080p aspect ratio, which is not standard for the game. Rut row. Back, General. The GLA launched their missile from the Baikonur facility early this morning. Intel reports that they are preparing a second launch. Use of this missile will severely weaken our foothold in Europe. It is vital that we remove this threat. Our sources indicate that the next missile is being transported to the launch facility by train. These tracks are the only way into the facility. The first step in completing our mission is to secure and hold this train depot. If we can intercept that train in time, we can use it as cover to infiltrate the base. Good luck, General. Okay, here we are. I think first things first, where I'm gonna get capture building because I saw some oil derricks. Secure the train depot and destroy the surrounding GLA base. Yes, Paladin tanks, please. What are these? What are these? Are these turrets? No. Yeah, these little, like, robot, robot tanks? I don't know. We'll find out. 
Look at this little propeller plane just flying over our base, sure. All sorts of new stuff. Sentry drone gun. Tow missiles. Yeah, sentry drones. Okay, so it's just like a little anti-infantry tank. So let's just load these guys in here. Actually, that's not true. We want to load most of these in here because with capture building done. Let's go ahead and grab these buildings. Let me know how the sound is. I had to change it again for zero hour. One thing, one thing I noticed right away is that the spy satellite is, is located over here, which is really nice. We have a supply drop, which is cool. Are we collecting supplies from anywhere? It doesn't really look like it. Can we can we capture this as well? No, it's just civilian building. Okay, but either way, this is going to make, I think... Yeah, vehicles are cheaper than some extra supply. Do I even have a dozer? Do I even have a worker to start? I don't think so. Oh, I can't. I can't actually make one. Okay, so we're, we're working on limited resources here. So I can't even make other buildings. So I'm, I'm stuck on a barracks. We'll definitely get flashbangs to clear out garrison buildings. We'll get some more paladin tanks. Tow missile is fine. Okay, we'll get some more Paladin tanks. I did rely heavily on those Pathfinders for the anti-infantry, but we probably won't need them in this particular instance. So, like, if we take these fellas and move on up... I don't like this guy flying around. Not one bit. Okay, cool. Come on back here and get repaired for a brief moment. Flashbangs are ready. So I think we'll probably want to get a few more Humvees and load them up with... Rocket troopers as well. So let's do exactly that. Again, let's repair up our, our little drone people. So what was this? Sentry drone gun. So I guess the sentry drone... Is it invisible? The sentry drones are invisible, and then you can put on little pieces to them. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Paladin tanks are really good, though. They intercept missiles, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Again, I'll, I'll learn my way through all the the changes here. But we got plenty of money, so like, why not just grab a bunch more Paladin tanks? Now we can get Hellfire drones, so these are new drones. We have infantry drones. The battle drones are good only because, I mean, they're not great. For, it says they're strong versus infantry. I, I respectfully disagree. I think it's more about the fact that they can repair, which is just way better. Let's pop some tanks. Okay, so let's hop in here. I assume the train won't come out until we actually... Until we actually... Take the depot. Okay, well then what I'm going to do separately is make a group of rangers so that they can clear out the stinger sites without having to move in close with our other, with our other drones. This poor guy's stuck. <laughs> Okay, so now we have drones. I think these will all definitely get battle drones, just because I want them to be able to repair themselves. These can't have drones. I like the little Hellfire drones flying around, but I assume they can't repair. Again, having this on the hotbar over here on the on the right is really, really nice. Okay, great. So we're going to move forward first with a group of rangers to clear out those uh, those groups of stinger sites. The extra income here is fine. Just wait for a few more of these fellas. This is probably good enough, realistically, because they're not going to get taken out by the... by the stinger sites. So the fact that the American campaign comes first... I mean, the, the narrative of the original Generals game really... It, like, it, it, it would have been the same whether it was there or not there. <laughs> it's basically like, okay, fight the GLA, and that's literally it. Okay. Can we please attack? Can you use your... Yes, use your flashbangs, please. There we go. Take them out. Then we're going to move in with all my other units. Move on up, fellas. I think I see some Chinese over here. We can garrison their, we can garrison their stuff, which is great. Are my units actually attacking? They're just attacking like they should, just straight up, because that means a lot to me. Thank you, units. You never used to do that. So we can use the Chinese bunkers, which is really good. Let's just go ahead and grab a few more. Just keep grabbing infantry in this case, and we can load up those bunkers later. 
Okay, I guess we could check over here. Don't let those blow up. Okay, great. I'm gonna come down here, because it looks like we can commandeer some of these tanks. There's, like, overlord tanks and such. Now, I'm gonna guess we could just... Nice. So we have a flame tank. There's money up there. See, I'm glad I'm actually taking the time to look here. This is why I'm making more infantry. Pretty much just for this reason. So let's start loading them in. I guess if we had pilots on the ground, we could have... Uh, we could have gotten some veterancy on these, but like, well, you know, who, who cares? It's fine. <laughs> okay, hop on in here. Hop on in here. We have, we're gonna have an overlord tank here. Please get in. Please, please get in the, the overlord tank. I'd appreciate it. There we go. Uh, I think we get a propaganda tower. Will that work on our American units though? I suspect it won't. I'm gonna get a battle bunker instead. Okay, hop in here. Fighting for the Red Army. No, you're not. No, you're not. Special forces here. Okay, let's move on up here. We can grab these. Okay, and then we can load up in this in this bunker. Load on in, buddies. Please. Special forces here. Crusader tank responding. Okay. You're killing me. Get out of the way. <laughs> What is wrong with this man? Are you gonna get in this tank or not? It's because there's like there's something in the way. Oh, there's these these little drone things are like constantly blocking me. I'd like to put some missile troopers in here. Okay, let's just at least come up and pick these up. Meanwhile, let's start moving forward. These initial maps are always quite easy, so I'm not that concerned. Still having some decent income as well, so I think we just make paladin tanks. I like these little sentry drones, but you know, not super necessary. I will get an ambulance. And then just spend all of my money on on Paladin tanks. Because they're just all around good. Okay, more Stinger sites. We're going to have to clear out some of these buildings. We did get one Dragon tank. We also have, well, yeah, we have, a, we have a plethora of different options to clear out these garrison units. I think we just take Rangers. And we clear them out. But I, I had one Dragon tank. Where is he? I'd like to use him in some fashion. I don't know why I can't find units that I have, but... Battlemaster, there he's right here. Come on up here and burn this build. We're going to burn these two buildings out. Three of these buildings out, really. Just got to get in close. There we go. Just the instant burnout of buildings is extremely good. There we go. Now we move up with everybody. We're not going to be able to repair this fella. And that's where the propaganda tower would have come in handy. I realize we could have gone the other way because there's bunkers over here we could have garrisoned if we would have come across here and set those up. I'm not sure if that would have really mattered or not. Okay, so let's move up. I'm just going to leapfrogging here. I'm trying not to lose a lot of troops until we're getting close to the main base. So I'm going to clear this out. Flashbangs, please. Okay, excellent. And then we're going to move up and actually clear this stuff out. Where is the battle? Because the, the units inside of these do come back. Man, that turret on top of that is actually doing a decent chunk of damage. I don't see any hidey holes for the GLA. No, there, there's one. <laughs> All right, our drones are getting picked off. Now we're going to start auto-attacking into here. It's tempting to maybe try to take their buildings. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Secure the train depot. Right, right, right. And destroy the, the surrounding base. I mean, it definitely can't hurt to just take it. We can't. Okay, that's fine. The selected across screen and selected uh, across the map is actually, it, it's working a lot better than it has in the past, that's for sure. I would have liked to capture that, but it seemed like we couldn't. We have a lot of units. Now we need to build an attack force large enough to destroy the GLA base. Load your best units onto the train. The train will depart when it is completely full. 
Okay, well, we're going to take our Paladin tanks. We're going to take our loaded up Humvees. Uh, I think we take the Ambulins. We Battlemasters, no. It would be cool to take the Flame Tank, but I don't think that's necessary. I think we just take Paladin tanks now. I mean, Humvees are important here because we can have multiple units. That's the key. Yeah, get loaded up here. Uh, yeah, it's honestly tempting just to make exclusively paladins, but nah. Also, loading up these bunkers would have been smart. Maybe we can use them once we get over there. I think we need to bring some rangers too for the flashbangs. That's a waste. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. More paladin tanks. It's just having to clear out the the missile sites. That's all. We're moving. Is there a threat? We're moving. All right. Yeah, pretty much exclusively paladins. Here's another Humvee. Let's bring that for sure as well. And I think that'll do it. Everyone that's in here also has drones, I believe. Yep. Okay. One more paladin tank. Doesn't hurt. Then we'll take the train into the city and start wiping them out. Uh, don't get run over as this thing leaves, please. Good work, General. The train is full. I like the little drones following it. Well, this is unique. Okay, we've we've done that incoming trans transmission. Let's go. Someone has was saying how. Th this is a little different than. Our final objective is this <laughs> GLA base here in the hills. Take it out, and the operation is complete. People were saying how how these missions do have a bit of a twist on them, which I'm really grateful for. It seems just lost. different and great. We already lost something. Okay, let's just get rid of our major, our the main threats right on the front here. Hey, we gotta get over here and take this out. Paladin tanks doing great. We could probably garrison inside those bunkers if we needed to. Just take out each individual building, because I guess we can't take them. We have a pilot here. Uh, why don't you chevron my overlord tank, please? Do-do-do. I think the units that we're losing are probably... They're probably more likely... Uh, we need drones. to finish destroying this base. Oh, the Moabs will be here any minute. Okay, we've done it. Alpha Wing, area is clear. You may proceed. Will do, HQ. I got him in my sights. Delivering payload. Danger close there, buddy. We got some tanks right up there. You are victorious. You are victorious! Well, I can say, just from the first mission, I am happy. I'm quite happy with Zero Hour. Uh, I still think that the general UI and, like, the text that's used and stuff, it just looks so amateur to me, but I've, I've gotten used to it. But I'm just so happy that the missions seem like they're going to have some more unique premises, because that's what makes a campaign a campaign. It's not just a slightly altered melee map. So there's there's some interesting things that are going on here, even just in the first map. We get some new units here as the U.S. We'll see if we can use those in any fashion in the campaign particularly. But that was pretty fun. All right, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.